let's move on to the Maps app and take a look at these catchments. So again, like I was saying, we don't make the catchments in DHS2. These are made externally by our partner Grid3 or Crosscut, and you are able to import those uh, via the API into DHIS2. So I'm gonna turn on population by age layer. Again, the, the population by age layer is coming from Google Earth Engine. This was a feature uh, we released in the, in the previous version of DHIS2. So that's been there for a little while. I am gonna turn on my under five population for male and female. I am going to go to my org units tab. And now what you see in the org units tab is this thing called associated geometries, this option here. And I'm going to open that drop down box and choose catchment area. And I'm going to select bow just so I'm not making a huge map and add layer. Oh, it did. Oh, right. I, you may say, so I need to select the level to facility and not district. Okay, let's try that again. All right, so now you see our catchment areas have shown. And if I click on a catchment area, this represents a single facility. And I can see, say, the under five population uh, as um, World Pop, Google Earth is defined it. Uh, or has projected it as uh, for this particular facility, um, 2,422. You can also see that I can see the sum for each one of these uh, um, sex and age disaggregations. All right. So, I mean, essentially that is it. It's just in, in all of the layers that you have here, when you go to the org units, you have this option for associated geometries. And again, it doesn't have to just be catchments. Catchments seems to be the driving use case for, for why we've developed this feature, but it could be any number of other associated geometries. There's really no limit to it. Um, and so I'm only able to apply this catchment area um, um, uh, shapes to a facility level. You could, of course, have multi, uh, uh, other geometries for different levels. So something that maybe for district or something for national. It's really, there's a lot of flexibility here. So it's not it's not confined just to catchment areas, but catchment areas seems to be, again, the use case that is most required. I'll just make a quick point about the um, this catchment area, just to show you another example. It, of course, is not confined to just the health sector. So this could be broadly applied to any sector in which DHI is being used. And here we're looking at um, a map of the Gambia, and you can actually see that we have work um, developed catchment areas for each school in the Gambia. Um, and so if I click on a catchment area for a school, you can see that I have the the school age population um, for that um, school catchment. And again, you can have, if you have different types of schools, for example, say maybe you have a basic um, um, uh, like basic education or secondary education schools, maybe these have different types of catchments, right? So um, right now, this is showing that all schools are the same, essentially. But we know in real life, all schools are not the same or all facilities are not the same. So you could have different catchment areas for different programs or different school types. And again, you can show, you can have all of those available to you as options. Uh, you're not limited to just one. You can have a catchment area for basic secondary schools or a catchment area for um, uh, referral hospitals and then a separate catchment area for health facilities or catchment area for facilities that are providing specialized treatment for like HIV AIDS and some other facilities are not. So that means that those catchment areas are bigger. They cover um, uh, um, um, some area that may be covered by another facility for some other health program. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, but I do also want to stress that um, uh, we are very eager to support and um, experience um, anyone using this functionality. Um, we are keen to continue to develop it, to continue to improve it. So if you have any questions or issues about using catchment areas, do reach out to us in the community practice. We will definitely get a response to you um, and try to help you out. If you have any suggestions on how we can continue to improve it, please do also reach out to us um, uh, through the community practice. We're very happy to hear your thoughts and suggestions. 
That being said, I, I do think it would be great if everyone could look at um, the websites for our partner organizations, Crosscut and Grid3. Uh, they have some really exciting functionality coming out. Specifically, Crosscut has developed a, an, an application within DHIS2 to support the, um, the development and import of these catchment areas that's connected to um, their, own, their own software. Um, so the point is that we're just trying to work with multiple partners to make it as easy, easy as possible for you all to have access to, um, to these multiple geometries, specifically to facility or school catchments.